Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to um, the, I would say this is part three of the head, but this is more of a timing component. So we're going to start doing the timing of the Neons or the ESRT4 uh, engine. I'm going to show you how to do that, but I want to give a big shout out to Minute Maid Aguas Frescas for this drink. If you haven't tried it, it is pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it does have a little bit more sugar than I would want to, but it's pretty good. Okay, so let's get started with the video. This is what we got so far. I'm going to show you all the cool stuff with it. It is pretty cold in here, so I turn off some of the heaters so you guys can hear me. But uh, let's get started on the show, and let's go from there and get everything going and make it look pretty. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is take this M8. I believe it's an M8. We're going to be taking the M8 bolt. We're going to put our tension in here, but we need this mounting bolt for our, uh, our brace right here for the side mounts. So we're going to need this bolt, but we're going to take this off. Put some blue Loctite. This one essentially is going to hold it in place, this bolt right here. So you want to give a couple of turns into the top one, the mount one, at least five, seven, eight, ten turns. Make sure that the threads in there are pretty good so it doesn't want to move around on you. 15 millimeter. Torque this one to 45 foot pounds. Make sure you make sure that this goes in and out a couple of times to make sure that it's this isn't moved, that this isn't loose anywhere, that it's still going to be there, that it's not moved anywhere. So I'm able to pull it out and then put it back in. That just reassures you that nothing is binding or in the way of each other. All right, guys, now that the timing, the, our tensioner is in place and torqued down to spec, then we uh, need to put our cover on and then we need to torque. I'm going to leave it right there for you. We have some M6s and M8s, M6s to 105 inch pounds, M8s to 250 inch pounds. Good stuff right there as a diagram to put on. Okay, now we got um, our bolt in place besides the one I'm missing, which I'll get later. Now we're going to install the uh, idler. Okay, that needs to be torqued down to 250 inch pounds. Okay, now idler is on. Um, now we got to put the cam gears on. And just for reference, these say, I'm not sure you can see it, these say 2-4 in the front, and then there's a 2-0 two two in the back. You obviously want the ones that says 2-4. Then you have your, your pins right here. Pin it. Uh, don't hit these with the hammers. Don't, don't do that. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on your cam bolts, cam gear bolt. We got to torque these down to 85 foot pounds. Uh, do not use anything to hold the cams in place while you torque them down. I found this out after some trial and error. This tool is not the Mopar tool, but it's damn near close to the Mopar tool. You literally can get these at Amazon for 15, 16 bucks, and you can adjust it to however your cam is. So you can actually put some, you can actually put some mass on it so it doesn't, you're using the gear when you're torquing it down, not the cam. These cams, any cam is actually kind of fragile, but they're sturdy, so you can't put force and torque the shit down like while you're using the pins to hold the cam in place to set the timing. Please don't do that. I don't recommend using that. Use this tool 
Amazon. I think I'll be able to get the link on there. It is, man, 20 bucks. Use this tool when you torque them down to 85 foot pounds. Okay. Now we're ready to set timing on the cams. It's close, but no cigar, right? So I got this cam hold from DCR. It's specific to whatever cams. So you have crane, BC, stock ones. And then there's two holes. There are two, two uh, dowel, dowel rod inserts right there in the cam. You essentially put this on the cam, hold it in place, and that will uh, hold it together like that for time. All right, boys, so uh, it got really cold, so I had to turn that on. Bring it up to at least 60, man. It got a little too chilly for me. So, uh, as you can see, the timing marks are money right there. And the BC cam uh, alignment is right here. So, now we're going to turn our uh we're gonna set this to top dead center for the most part we're gonna revolve we're gonna turn the engine to get to from here from this mark to get to that mark right there all right guys so we have the belt already installed we have the uh belt tensioner already torqued down apparently i uh lost battery of the uh, camera and I didn't I did a bunch of this and talk with basically no idea that it was off so oh brother this guy stinks and I ran the belt from here to the water pump through the uh, timing belt idler through the uh, I believe this is the intake uh, cam side over to the exhaust cam side we had our uh, DCR uh, timing belt tool to make sure it doesn't move down through here to the idler back through the, uh, the oil pump so then I um, use a quarter inch uh, you, I think it's a six millimeter but it's a quarter inch uh, you can use like a socket which is what I use was um, it's basically like a quarter inch end right here and I was holding it up and tightening it down uh, and then I had to tighten this up to, to I tightened the bolt up to 13 millimeter I tightened the bolt up to uh, 220 inch pounds and you have to make sure that when you torque this in place and you tighten it down that this arrow let's see if I can get a good view of it see how it's kind of set in place right there that this spring is set in there from right here that it has to be aligned perfectly with if that makes any sense right? I'm trying to get you a good view of it right there so once that's you kind of have to use two hands one to move this and then one to tighten this up to 250 inch pounds then you take your cam tool off and you double check everything you make sure that your uh, that your oil pump is at top dead center you make sure that your cams are, are, are marked equally I mean I, they moved a little bit because I was moving it around make sure that this is all timed that this is timed and then you're basically it has a tension now to uh, to move stuff around. I put this you don't have to, but I put this back in place while I'm tightening everything down to make sure nothing moves. That's just the mount. That's just the mount from the uh, from the tension that we had previously on. So then, just to double check your work, I'll show you a 19 millimeter socket, and then you start turning, and you're gonna see. cams should go back in place okay that's one turn top dead center add a little tension is there I'm gonna do it again there time there get a good light in this way so you guys can see that and then your tensioner is still in time still has tension and 
I'll move it, and you'll see how the uh, the tension works. time again. Okay, back again, double checking it. Timed. Timed. Still timed. I don't have the plastic one yet, but I probably end up doing the clear, so I'm just gonna put these screws for now, just so I don't lose them. All right, boys, we're gonna we're gonna leave it off here. Uh, so just the rest of the stuff you can put on yourself is just kind of putting back the mounts, the mount that goes in place here, and then the cover. But uh, yeah, this is it. This is what it's gonna look like. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I also did uh, put some that I look. Come again? You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. I also put the picture of the trains on the Grammy. Excuse me. And uh, this is from this is rebuilt from this is rebuilt from P Works. David at P Works, the owner, did an incredible job with the T850. Uh, Very excited about doing that. And uh, so hopefully we'll be matching or mating this one to this, this guy over here. But that'll be another video. So um, thank you guys for everything. I appreciate everything. The love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And hopefully I'll come up with another video uh, soon-ish after this one. So uh, you guys have a good one. See you guys in the next one.